In this video, we're looking at how you would add the HID signal um, reader to the Net2 system. This is a Signal 20 with the keypad on board. So what we, the point of this project, this is a project that a customer asked us to look into. And really the point was they could use Bluetooth um, for entry exit into a, into a building. But in addition, if the, the user forgets their Bluetooth device, the smartphone or the watch tag or whatever they're using. Um, they, they could have a pin code to get in. So this video really is about adding a keypad, a HID keypad to the Net2 system. In previous videos, and I'll put the link at the top there, in previous videos I've shown you how to use um, HID Origo account, how to create a Bluetooth token and the license and how to implement that onto a um, HID device. I've also shown you in that same video how to add a HID reader to Net2 and how to configure the device in Net2. So if we look at this screen setting we've got here, you can see really at the top there we've got the name of the ACU, um, door groups aren't used, the open time, unlock the door, that means when you can give free access and so on. But when we look at reader type, what we've done here is the reader type is a Wigand reader, keypad type none, even though we are using a keypad it's none. And the important part here is the token data format is 26 bit with a site code. Now if we look at the HID reader manager, let's launch that. If we have a look at the HID reader manager, you can see here I've, it's the same setting as the previous video, but there's one extra menu, and that's for keypad. So if we click on keypad settings, it takes you to this to this window here. Now here you can see the input format. It's, you can choose whether it's BCD, whether it's a binary output, so every time you press a key, it sends the information through to the ACU. Or you can set it for 26-bit, which and, and it's a H format, H10301 which is 26 bit with a site code. And you can see further down here, facility code, I've set that to 99. So that means it's gonna send the, the information through with a leading site code of 99. The HID reader works by, when you type in the five digit code, it waits till you've typed in that five digit and then it's that fifth digit and it sends it to the ACU. So the ACU is just looking for one burst of information. If we come back to the Net2 software, you can see here, as I say, 26 bit with a site code, and the site code is 99. So if you remember on the on the mobile phone screenshot we've got there, I've set the facility code to 99. Further down, the reader operating mode is token only. You can choose whether it's a desktop reader, inactive, or token only, but we'll leave it as token only. If we change the menus and go to users, you can see I've already got a user here, it's a HID test and the token, because it's site coded, the token is token number one. Now what I'm going to do is add a new token. Um, well you can see I've already done a watch token there. Now I need to type in the five digit code, one, two, three, four, five, for example, um, click OK, and then at the bottom there, apply. And that's going to send the information through to the ACU. And if we just go to events, now if I go to the keypad and type in that code, there you go. You can see the um, the code, the access was permitted token only, and it shows you the token number of one, two, three, four, five. The important thing to note is the user. The name is HID test. So if I use my smart device, let me switch my phone on and go to the HID access. If I present my phone, token number one, and it's the same user, it's um, showing the same access for the same user. So one user has got two tokens. Obviously in Net2, you can have four tokens for each user. And there we go, that's the, the setup of the Signal 20 KNS um, reader with Bluetooth credential and uh, a pin code added to the Net2 system.
Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.